Okay, one, two, three, say it with me, everyone. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. You know I had to get that in there. How is everyone doing? Remember to hit that subscribe button because you guessed it, it is time to talk spoilers for the new A24 show, Beef, starring Steven Yun and Ali Wong. So, let's get into it. So this show premiered at South by Southwest to incredible reviews. I did not know too much about it and judging from the poster and the trailer, I thought that this was going to be some kind of romantic comedy. Even the first few episodes right up until when the season finishes, I thought that that was the general direction of where it was going to head. But it was really surprising that it never really went there. B follows these two characters who are both very frustrated with their current position in life. And it is funny because the scenes where Steven Yun's character in particular is getting really frustrated at small things in the beginning feels very relatable when you know you have a stretch of time where you're just kind of down on your luck and nothing's going your way. I'm sure you're familiar with those moments. And as soon as the smallest thing happens, it just pisses you off and it captures that so well. Anyway, these two characters collide, which starts this explosive road rage incident, which forever links these two characters. Steven Yun is doing his best to become this provider for his whole family, where he works so hard, but the pressure gets to him, making him suicidal. We also have Ali Wong's character, who is holding in all of her emotions and feelings as she is on the verge of exploding because she is so frustrated with her situation. The dynamics that these two characters have with their family and friends is what drives this show a lot for me, and as we start to unravel about why these relationships have gone so sour, just keeps you consistently engaged with the show. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I thought this was going to be some kind of romantic comedy that had this real angry edge to it, but this is more of an exploration of what drives us as humans and the importance of what we value. These characters have placed their entire identity in their work as well as being steeped in very traditional values that don't work really well for either character. Ali Wong is trying to have some kind of connection with her family, but she dedicates so much time to her work that she just can't anymore. I also really loved how this show would always find new and innovative ways of keeping me engaged from episode to episode. The structure for it was really well done in the beginning, because I wasn't sure that this kind of show would have the legs to last 10 episodes, but it really does. The supporting characters, I don't want to forget mentioning them because they are excellent as well. Young Mizzino's character as the little brother to Steven Jung makes the dynamics all the more complex as he puts himself right in the middle of this central conflict unintentionally. There's also Joseph Lee as the husband, who just feels like an annoyance to Ali Wong. And he also unintentionally puts himself into the middle of this conflict. Without going into a crazy amount of detail, I just really like how these dynamics are written. You really grow to care about these characters. So when things get extremely chaotic at the end of the season, it makes a lot of the events in the show feel utterly devastating. With that said, let's talk about the finale because it takes a pretty crazy leap. You know the show is mainly these characters trying to one-up each other, and things get really dark really quickly when Ali Wong's child is held for ransom and people start getting murdered. It can probably feel sudden and maybe out of place, but I honestly thought that it made sense in the whole context of the show. Even if some of it was kind of rushed, making the ending for some of the arcs for a lot of these side characters like David Cho's and Maria Bellows feel just not as satisfying as what they could be. The SWAT enter the house where these characters are and you think that the little brother played by young Mazzino gets shot and it honestly hit me real hard because it follows a scene where Steven Yun finally lets him go and understands that he is a terrible influence to him and dragged him down to his level. Young Mazzino's Paul is ambitious in the beginning of the show and he goes from that to someone who just wants to make money like Steven Yun's Danny. 
The final episode somehow manages to go even crazier where Steven Yun and Ali Wong drive off a cliff, get lost, eat some poisonous berries, and start tripping. Yes, you heard that correctly. They finally gain some respect for one another as they come to an understanding that they are both pretty similar people and maybe that is why they clashed in such an intense way. They are both selfish characters who think that they know what is best, but they are just as lost as everyone else. I think while I did like the direction it headed in with the ending of the show overall, having them wander the landscape tripping on poisonous berries was not a choice I necessarily thought would be the most effective in communicating this connection to us. It just felt like it took up so much time in the episode and because of that, other characters just don't get to have as fulfilling of an end to their arc as I would have liked. The show ends with Steven Yeun's character on life support as Ali Wong is there hugging him for a very, very long time and eventually he wakes up, he goes to hold her and the show ends. I thought that was a really brilliant way to end this show as these two souls become one. The show mentions these themes of connecting on a deeper level than physical and I think these two characters had that in such a strange way I don't even know if the end of the show they would be in a relationship like that, but they just could have such a strong connection that they will still be in each other's life. In terms of technical crafts, I mean, I think this is pretty well shot, especially in the final episode, but this show is mainly centered around its screenplay and performances, which it executes at a very high level. This is honestly one of my favorite seasons of TV this year so far, because it was just so effective in creating something that you just wanted to keep watching as this train wreck just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I don't binge watch stuff often anymore, but this one I just had to because I just wanted to keep watching it because it just drew me in. I am a huge fan of Steven Yeun and this is one of my favorite performances from him. I think his Minari performance is his career high. But this would be right up there for me. I think for Ali Wong, this is a career high for her. And A24 have just given us another excellent TV show. We know that they are mainly a film company. But I have watched three of their shows now, which are Euphoria, Rami, and now this. And I really love all three of those shows. I don't really think that Beef will have a second season. I mean, it could do, but... It ends in a very satisfying and pretty definitive way, I think. That doesn't really justify a season two. I will watch it if they do make one because the show was very creative and extremely interesting. I'm going to give Beef a four and a half out of five and I highly recommend this to you, especially if you love dramas. There's a lot more to this show than the stuff that I have mentioned in this video. And when you watch it, you'll understand how much this just draws you into that drama. Anyway, those are my general thoughts towards Beef, not the food, the TV show. If you haven't seen it, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. I also want to talk about some future videos for the channel real quick. I do want to have more content coming to you than what I have been putting out recently, but there just hasn't been too much for me to cover personally. But these next couple of weeks, I do have a couple of very interesting videos planned, like a Resident Evil 4 remake review, Bo is Afraid review, and in the future, when I eventually finish it, I will be talking about the Horizon Forbidden West expansion. All that and more will be coming soon, so remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.